Hello everyone, I'm Gorka here, and welcome back to Mega Man 4 Perfect Runs. So today, let's go scuba diving, and venture into Dive Man's lair. Let's see what his stage is all about. As his name gives it away, he's the water-based robot master of the game. So first up, we have Gary OB and Gyotot. What if we've already seen... You want to wait for that Gary OB to go to the left, as that jump may look possible, but it isn't. I've never been able to do it without using Rush Coil. And then we get introduced to the last of the Metals. That is Metal Swim. It's basically a met in scuba diving gear. It swims up. They vary how high they will swim. Usually they're not too much of a problem. What is a problem is Moby. It did both attacks. The, the missile is very hard to avoid, but when it, when it throws his bombs, it's not an issue. Here you want to activate both of these M422As, which I haven't actually introduced yet. They do love their weird jellyfish name, that's for sure. Oh boy, Eddie. You want me to lose, don't you? Up here we have another Jumbic to deal with. Seems like all stages now seem to have one. But I'm not too fast. They're not too big of a deal to the big of a problem to deal with. This is Mantan. You can actually easily jump over them or you can kill them. They're not very durable. And they do only take two shots to destroy. Here, however, you have to do kind of a type kind of a fancy maneuver! That was extra fancy. Let's go. Now time to deal with Moby number two. Good. So we did the same pattern as the first one, and for that I'm okay. A path down there, but we'll cover that later. Now we have mines. Literal mines and sea mines. Or as the wiki also says, they are also called craze, these weird red mines. You wanna blow up? There we go. Alright, moving on. And on with the dive man. Dive man is a pretty straightforward fight. He's very pattern based. At the beginning of the battle, he seems to always dive at you, and after that, he she shoots three missiles if he decides to shoot missiles. Or he's gonna dive more. So just count missiles, and now he's gonna dive. Now he's gonna either shoot missiles again. He always shoots in volleys of three, and then he's going to dive. And basically, this is the pattern. Just try and stay focused, don't lose it. Take note of how many missiles you've destroyed. This is actually the first Robot Master fight. I don't like time my shots, I just go full on spam. Goodbye Dive Man, your stage was quite nice. Very fun to play. Very easy Robot Master this time around. I can actually move. Why am I not moving? Ugh, let's pass out. Whee! That took its time. I was getting kind of worried there. Oh, and then you do a mega jump and bump your head. Good one, Mega Man. I forgot to say his name. To, to say the name of the weapon he uses. But he, his weapon of choice is the dive missile. Dive man down, there is only one left. However, this one did still have some outtakes. I bet you know where they were. Enjoy. Now we move on to face Moby number two. Yes, when he starts shooting missiles, things go out of hand very quickly. Anyway, now move on to mini boss number two, Moby. And we get hit. 
That's the bomb attack you want it to use. It's very easy to deal with as he leaves himself. Why worry about the mini boss when we can get hit by the met instead? Okay, so back in Dive Man stage, a path which we didn't take. Let's go down. And it's a spike drop. Oh, hold left, hold left. We're, all, we're obviously getting deeper in as the color is starting to change. And down here, we get the wire adapter. We're really deep as the basically water colors just completely changed. And I think we just get moved if the, to the next screen. So the wire adapter, what does it do? Ah. I guess you can like, cling yourself to blocks with it now. Well, that's for the extra path. Onwards to the difficulty analysis. And so there you have it, a perfect run of Dive Man stage. This one was very easy and very fun to play through, which obviously means his rating will suffer. So Dive Man, what do you get? All I can really give Dive Man is a 2. The only reason he even gets a 2 is because of his mini boss, Moby. When he fires the missiles, if he starts stacking them on top of each other, they become very difficult to avoid. However, if Moby decides to use his bomb attack, then he's a no problem. And if he only did his bomb attack, then this stage would get a 1. There's also that one really tight jump between the two M422As you have to jump through and then a mountain comes on screen. Besides that, everything else in the stage is very easy to get through once you learn it. Even the metal swims are not difficult to deal with. So, sorry Dive Man, but your stage was really a piece of cake. What else is there to say? What else is there to say? With seven down, then there was one. There is only one left of the Mega Man forecast and then we are done with this game. Exciting times. Anyway, for now, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you did. It always helps me out. Until next time, I shall see you soon. Till then, take care.